Welcome to Candela Physics Academy. We will number discuss in it for in the category 3 Natural Science. Candela Physics Academy online coaching in the joint chair that all students in the number provided to you know. Class notes in the portions are if number discuss in the notes just to number to read you know other than the national number to contain the material of the copies of the return and the return. Okay, so we will talk about the living world in the first chapter. Okay, so what is living world? Growth, reproduction, ability to sense environment and mount a suitable response come to our mind immediately as unique features of living organisms. One can add a few more features like metabolism, ability to self-replicate, self-organize, interact and emergence to this list. Then the characteristics of living beings. When living organisms grow, increase in mass and increase in the nature of individuals are twin characteristics of growth. A multicellular organism grows by cell division. In plants, this growth by cell division occurs continuously throughout their lifespan. In animals, this growth is seen only up to certain age. However, cell division occurs in certain tissues to replace lost cells. Unicellular organisms grow by division. And uh, one can... Characteristics... And one can easily observe this in vitro cultures by simply counting the number of cells under the microscope. One must remember that increase in body mass is considered as growth. The non-living objects also grow if we take increase in body mass as a criterion for growth, mountains, boulders and sand mounds to grow. However, this kind of growth exhibited by Non-living objects is by accumulation of material on the surface. Living organisms growth is from inside. Growth therefore cannot be taken as a defined property of living organisms. Conditions under which it can be observed in all living organisms have to be explained and then we understand that it is a characteristic of living systems and that organisms does not grow. And the second portion, reproduction. Reproduction is a characteristic of living organisms. In multicellular organisms, reproduction refers to the production of progeny, processing features more or less similar to those of parents. Invariably and implicitly, it refers to sexual reproduction. Organisms reproduce by asexual means also. Fungi multiply and spread easily due to the millions of asexual spores they produce. In, in lower organisms like yeast and hydra, we observe budding. In planaria, as well forms, we observe through regeneration. That is, a fragmented organism regenerates the lost part of the body and becomes a new organism. The fungi, the filamentous algae and the protonia of mosses all easily multiply by fragmentation. In majority of higher animals and plants, growth and reproduction are mutually exclusive events. When it comes to unicellular organisms like bacteria, unicellular algae or amoeba, reproduction is synonymous with growth, that is increase in cell number or mass. Hence, we notice that in single-celled organisms, we are not very really clear about the usage of these two terms, growth and reproduction. Further, there are many organisms which do not reproduce, that is mules, sterile worker bees, infertile human couples, etc. Hence, reproductions also cannot be an all-inclusive defining characteristics of living organisms. Of course, no non-living objects is capable of reproducing or replicating by itself. Then, what do you mean by metabolism? Another characteristic of life is metabolism. All living organisms are made of chemicals 
there are thousands of metabolic reactions occurring simultaneously inside all living organisms be they unicellular or multicellular the sum total of all the chemical reactions occurring in our body is metabolism while plants animals fungi and microbes exhibit metabolism not non living objects exhibit metabolism metabolic reactions can be demonstrated outside the body in a cell free system an isolated metabolic reactions occurs outside the body of an organism performed in a test tube is neither living nor non living hence while metabolism is a defining feature of all living organisms without exceptions isolated metabolic reactions in vitro are not living things but surely living organisms and the fourth one cellular organism organization All living or organisms are composed of cells and produce products of cells hence cellular organizations of the body is the defining features of living forms and the fifth portion consciousness perhaps the most obvious and technically complicated feature of all living organisms is this ability to sense their surroundings or environment and respond to these environmental stimuli which could be physical chemical or biological or organisms from the prokaryotes to the most complex eukaryotes can sense and respond to environmental cues all organisms handle chemicals entering their bodies and therefore are aware, aware of surroundings plants responds to external factors like light water temperature other organisms pollutants etc photophilid affects reproduction in sensational predators both plants and animals human being is the only organism who is aware of himself has self consciousness we sense our environment through our sense organisms consciousness therefore becomes the defining property of living organisms when it comes to human beings it is all the more difficult to define the living state we observe patients lying in coma in hospitals virtually supported by machines which replace heart and lungs the patient is otherwise brain dead the patient has no self consciousness appo motha nammal ko r 5 portions mai vandapetta note da nammal koduthittullathu appo adinte cheriya oru brief fighter na nammal ibda paranjittullathu idu parayala main kaaranam nammada content മറ്റുള്ളവർ അനാവശ്യമായി യൂസ് ചെയ്യാതെ ഇരിക്കുവാനായിട്ട് അതൊക്കെങ്കിലും നമ്മുടെ ഓൺലൈൻ കോച്ചിങ്ങിന് ജോയിൻ ചെയ്യാൻ താല്പര്യമുണ്ട് എന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ വാട്സപ്പ് ചെയ്യുന്ന നമ്പർ പ്ലസ് നയൻ വൺ എഴുപത്തി ഒമ്പത് തൊണ്ണൂറ്റിനാല് തൊണ്ണൂറ്റിയേഴ് പതിനാല് പത്തൊമ്പത് പുതിയൊരു വീഡിയോയുമായി വീണ്ടും കാണാം ബബായി